Hey everybody, we're in Arkansas. We're here at the sports card show at the Arkansas Convention Center. We're gonna showcase some of your favorite players, past and present, albeit on a sports card. We're also gonna check out some of the dealers, some of the collectors. Now, if you've been thinking about coming out to one of these sports card shows, or are just a fan of the hobby, then this show is dedicated to you. Sit back, enjoy. This should be a lot of fun. Follow me. I'm Abby, my parents are Matt and Katie Candidate, and we're here at the NWA Convention Center at the GG2 Sports Card Show. They've been doing this for about 20 years and I'm so proud to be their daughter. With my buddy Bob, one of the good guys in the hobby. If you could see, he has a lot of vintage uh, cards. And hey, Bob, I just want to say thank you because you're the guys, one of the guys that just laid the foundation for this hobby to be thriving today. So guys like me could come in and enjoy the hobby. So I just want to say thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. That. So, it means a lot. Yeah. So here's who? My, here's my hero right there. Right here. I know we talked about I Ken one. Boyer. I bought one that was so beautiful at the uh, casino show. Yeah. But I sold it. You know, so yeah. Hero for sale. yeah, nice. Now you have a busy schedule. So at the uh, next week, you're going to be in Springfield, Missouri. Yes, sir. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then at the end of the month, you're in Minnesota, Maplewood, Maplewood Mall. Mall. Yeah. And then May's pretty busy too because you have a show in Ottawa, one day show in Ottawa. Yep, on May the seventh. That's going to be a nice show. There's some yeah. good guys over there. And then I'm going to see you at the John Knox Pavilion, 14th and 15th the 14th and 15th. May. So that thing's going to be really awesome. Yeah. So if you're looking to get some vintage cards, come check out my buddy Bob. He'll have what you're looking for. 
Hey, Bob, again, thanks again. All I right. appreciate it. I'm here with my buddy Vince. Vince, uh, this past weekend, Jackie Robinson, the 75th anniversary of him breaking the color barrier. I mean, Jackie Robinson, you have a couple of items here. Uh, you got a signed photograph. Yep, uh, magazine page, yeah. best wishes. Uh, very tough signature, very tough autograph to get. Just, just a, I brought a couple of cool pieces just yeah. to kind of have them out here, show them off. And this uh, one, this is pretty cool. This has a lot of, not just Jackie Robinson, yeah. But you have who else on this ball? With this particular ball, this panel is probably one of the best panels you're going to see. Of course, got Jackie Robinson. Right below Jackie Robinson is a Sandy Koufax rookie autograph signature. From his and rookie year. Wow. From his rookie year. And then two spots below that is Roy Campanella. Wow. Um, those two gentlemen, you know, with Jackie and Roy, those two are the, the, the really the mainstays of how the whole breaking the color barrier movement started. Yeah. As well as those two men. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Jackie Robinson, I mean, one of the all time greats. Open up so many doors. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I'm with one of the hobby icons here. I mean, you've been in the business now since '97. What was your first when you had your? Uh, I've been doing this 36 years, but yeah. I've had my shop since '96. Yeah. yeah. So I've had it for a couple of days. Yeah, and we're here for we're here for Griffey Gal, Griffey Guys uh, Sports Car Show, and I know they talked about how you've helped them along the way, and you know you've been doing that just not just for them, but for other people yeah. in the hobby. Yeah. Multiple people, you know, they've asked for my assistance, asked for my help, yeah. my knowledge. You know, knowledge is free. Knowledge is always fair to be given. I don't yeah. mind giving knowledge. Yeah. Uh, if, if I have a, an answer that I can give someone to help them mm. better themselves, I'm always yeah. trying, trying to do that. I've helped several several people, several friends um, start their careers yeah. doing this, start shops. Yeah. So it's just, just something to do. And you've done that for us, too. When we first started our YouTube channel, one of the first stores we, we featured was your store. So just well, thanks for I that. I appreciate it. Just wanted to acknowledge and just say thank you for what you do for the hobby. Well, I you know? appreciate yeah. it. I mean, we, just, we, we mainly just try to have fun with it. Yeah. If you can't have fun with it, there's no reason to do it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if you're ripping wax or, or looking at autograph photos, seeing cars, doing YouTube channels. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just have fun with it. There you go. So, and I know you guys do yeah. as well. Passionate about what you do, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. And then speaking of acknowledging, Vince, acknowledge me. Meaning, <laughs> we want to get this WWE prism with Roman Reigns. There you go. Now this is the hobby box. This, now, this is the hottest stuff on the planet right yeah. now. WWE Prism debut edition. Debut. Now I'm gonna get the home state discount. We're not gonna say what it is, uh, but Vince. I'll take care of you. Yeah. I'll take care of you. But Vince, man, thank you so much. I appreciate hey, all you do. Appreciate you letting yeah. me yell. Yeah. Yeah. You got it.
I mean, look at look. That's a real man card. Yeah. That's a real man on that yeah. card. <laughs> So we're just checking out his card. I'm here with Adam. Adam, that's the, uh, is that the first edition? So what that is, is that's the four position only. Okay. So um, it's basically a sample card that they were trying to figure out how they were going to do. The, see how it has that bar next to on the, on the yeah. card? Yeah. Right so they were, it was called the e-reader set. So what oh, they were trying got to do it. Is they were trying to make it so you could swipe the card into a reader and then it would go onto like a mini laptop. And this is before laptops were a big deal. Wow. What happened is they created those, the Wizards of the Coast sold to TCG in like 2002. Yeah. The designer of that card got laid off in the process, so he walked off with all 500 prototypes. Wow. There's only 75 of that Charizard total. Wow. So even like your first edition Shadowless PSA 10 Charizard, there's more than 75 of that card out there. Yeah. It's just, it's a prototype. You, you can't pull it out of a pack of cards, so guys like Logan Paul can't pull it out, so it doesn't get that extra hype yeah. on, on YouTube or yeah. Facebook or wherever. That's so cool. But yeah, there's only 75 of them. 75. So. Wow. Adam, thank you so much. And we can yeah. follow you on Instagram. Yeah, I got my Instagram down there. So email, I buy, sell, trade, yeah. Pokemon, sports cards. Yeah. So. Appreciate it, Adam. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. All right. You guys have So I'm here with Pokemon enthusiasts, Colton and Wade. What's going on, guys? Hey, how's it going? I know people always ask, they want uh, more Pokemon stuff. So tell us a little bit about how you got into Pokemon. And Yeah, for sure. So I started a shop actually two years ago called Cracker Jack Collection. Just a small online shop, started to sell things because things were selling out in in retail stores and I wanted to be able to provide for people who can't find find stuff because people like yeah. to enjoy the hobby but if everybody's buying everything up it's kind of hard to find. Yeah. So I started this and it's kind of just grown ever since. Yeah. So I've got some of my stuff here today. Yeah. So I know you guys are brothers. So like for example I see this one's like at a this car right here is at a so Mint 9. Would it have been a 10 if you guys weren't battling like in the basement or in the, in the bedroom? You guys were battling all night? I was throwing it around. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, at, at the end of the day, Pokemon's a game, right? You play it, you battle your, you know, right, your buddies, right, your siblings, right. so. I mean, you pull some to collect, and hopefully if you think it's clean, it gets a 10, but sometimes it happens 9, but we certainly do like to battle, too. Like yeah, for sure. To pick up. Yeah. Decks and yeah. How to build them. So it's a little, more than yeah. A little bit of that brotherly love. Hey guys, thanks for the time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Joe Lewis, 1956, and we got a Jersey Joe Walcott. I'm interested. What are you thinking about on these cards? Well, how about 20 bucks a piece? That's easy. Of course. Yes, I'll buy them. I'll All buy them right. for 20 bucks. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. John, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. All righty. So I was just checking out some of Tyler's cards. So you got a Josh Allen. This is a Gemmin 10, and it's a Pop 66. Then you got the Jayhawk, Joel Embiid over here. Yep, yep. It's a short print variation, and uh, definitely one that I think is going to spike during the playoffs so they can make a deep run, so, especially with Harden now on the team. Yeah. Now, we were talking earlier, Trey Young snapped last night. He had a big game. A huge game. Yeah. Now, he led the league in scoring and assists. Yep. That's pretty incredible and for a... For, and then for on top of that, I like I have a love for the shot card, so I got yeah. This is my my cheap version. It's just yeah. CC nine, but then because I love Trey Young so yeah. much in the shocks, there's the PSA ten. Wow. So, yeah, I know he's one of the hottest players in the hobby. People love collecting him. Yeah. And, Trey uh, Young. I don't know why, but I've heard a lot of things too where people don't really like Trey Young too much in Atlanta. They don't. 
I've heard that he's not respected enough, and people really? are kind of just like, eh, whatever. But in the hobby, he has yeah. so much love. People just love Trey Young and Luka Doncic and the whole 2018 Yeah, class, you know? so, for sure. But uh, yeah, definitely big love for Trey Young. But yeah. then another thing I'm strategizing right now is because the World Cup is coming up. Yes. Uh, I'm focusing a lot on soccer. So yeah, I know away. soccer's always big. So I have basically all the guys that are either on the international team um, for their country mm -hmm. or have potential of being on it. So I have like Weston McKinney. Obviously, he, he was injured the past two games, but he'll be on it. Um, but then over here, I have a lot of the top prospects who have a potential chance of making yeah. their, their clips. Breakout stars. Yep. So um, Jude Bellingham class. We got Pedri over there, Kim Avinga. Noah Lang's pretty good. I got a Billy Gilmore out of 99. Thank you for the time. Where can we follow you on IG? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I am on uh, Golden Tea Cards on Instagram, and that's primarily where I do all my business. So, yeah. Right there. Thank you so much, Tyler. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Here with my buddy Jackson. He picked up a sick card, a Kyler Murray. There's only five of these? Five of five. That's pretty insane. So, Jackson. You do, uh, is it TikTok? You don't do those viral videos, Jackson, out of Kansas City. That's not you. That's no, not no, you. The no. wrong, wrong Jackson. You have a YouTube channel, right. FC Central. FC Central. You're getting close to 100 subs, right? I'm at 93 right now. So let's get them to 100 subs. So if you're watching, hit that subscribe button, FC Central. Hey, man, thanks for the time. Pretty sick cards. Thanks. I appreciate it. AJ and Andy, a little bonus content. You're gonna show me this one of, is it out of 10, it's a gold? Well, wow, look at this. <laughs> Lamello Ball. That's your number. That's cool. I know gold cards right now are like hot in the, you know. Oh, that's so, what I mean, everybody wants. Everybody wants the gold, so. Hey man, what a sweet pull. Wow. Tell yeah. us the story. How'd you get that card? Yeah, so I uh, it was like the first wax product I actually bought. Mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of still getting into the yeah. whole hobby. And, you know, spend a little money. I'm a little nervous about it. I was like, I should a lot of money. Start pulling through. I get the card. I don't realize yeah. really right away. Yeah. It's like I know it's kind of good, but I'm just kind of move through the other cards. I flip it around. I'm like, it's out of 10. Yeah. Holy Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear you. Course and yeah. Funny story is on his birthday. Wow, on your birthday. <laughs> it yes. wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to, you know, holler at him like, yo, yeah. yo, yo, I know you're busy. I know it's your birthday. Yeah. You got stuff going on. Out of 10 Lamel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Andy, thanks for showing me the card. AJ, thank you. Yes, thank Appreciate you. it. Absolutely. So I'm here with my pal Ben. Ben, we we're talking earlier. You're gonna tell me your favorite childhood hero. Who was that? It's gotta be Sidney Crosby. I've watched him play for the, the Penguins for a while. He's from my hometown of Halifax, Nova Scotia. And oh, nice. Uh, his big moment was winning the uh, the golden goal for Team Canada a couple years ago. Very so. nice. So that explains the Toronto Blue Jays, the love for Canada. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. One of my childhood heroes right here, Bo Jackson. Oh, yeah. He's got the uh, numbered out of 34. Uh, it looks like a sticker, but Bo knows. Hey, Ben. Hey, man. Thanks for the time. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Get the dap on. We missed the dap. Just the dap. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I'm here with my buddy, Jason. You were in a WWE Prism uh, box break. What did you pull out of yeah, there? Yeah, WWE Prism. They just did a box break, and uh, I pulled this Andre the Giant number to 49 from the new hot WWE Prism. Yeah, so the, super excited. The eighth wonder of the world, oh Andre the gosh. Giant. Absolute legend. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Yeah, growing up. So the Ultimate Warrior and the Sting Warrior. were two of my favorites. Yeah. And, and I see you have a you have some yep. you have a Sting card over here. I guess here. that'd be his rookie card, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know officially or not. But it, it is one of his younger, you know, from his younger years. Yeah. And I liked Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Very and nice. So, and this prism set is so hot right yeah. now. Yeah. 
I, I really didn't want to spend the money to uh, yeah buy the whole box for me right but I was happy to jump in a break that um, and uh, Cleve Sports Cards had here very nice and got one uh, one letter and pulled a pulled a great card. yeah very cool and then you we can follow you on Instagram Instagram Sports Card Mover on Instagram yeah, yeah. hey yeah, man absolutely. thanks for the time I appreciate it yeah good to see take you. care bye all right bye bye so I'm here with Chandler. Ted DiBiase would always say, everybody has a price for the million dollar man. What did you pick up? I found his 1982 rookie card. This is considered essentially his rookie card. Yeah. Uh, I live about an hour and 10 minutes away and we came down yesterday and the guy, the dealer that had it had already packed up. Yeah. So we came back down again today and he had two of them. Yeah. And I knew I had to get my hands on these. <laughs> yes. I met him. Um, I think it was the second to last weekend in March, and yeah. I'm like, you know what? It's one of the cards I just made. So yeah. I collection in a in a PSA five. It's not bad. I think it's Pop sixty six. Pretty roughly, cool. I say, something like that. Ted DiBiase. That's a pretty cool card. Hey man, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I yeah, appreciate, I appreciate it. it. So we're here in Arkansas. Wait a minute, am I saying that right? Arkansas. Arkansas. Some of the nicest here. Yeah. Convention Center. We're in the house that Griffey built. <laughs> so, I mean, we were a two-day event here. We are. Thanks for having us out. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys have been a pleasure. Here. Thanks for being here. Uh, any thoughts on the show? Or? It's been all right. No, we, yeah. as you can see, we've got we've got crowds behind us. Uh, oh, yeah. um, it's, 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 it's an awesome show. Awesome yeah. show. Great, yeah. great people here as well. And great vendors. Yeah. Yeah. Great vendors, great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us out. We had such a great time. The first time we met him, we met him in uh, Lee Summit, Missouri. And the way you guys treated us, you guys were so warm and like you know, make made us feel like a community. And yep, I think yep. that that just meant the world to us. So to just thank you on behalf of me and Mrs. Diaz today. <laughs> the way you guys made us feel. So, I mean, yeah. Thank you so much. The next big show, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, June 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yeah. So come check it out. If you're in the area, come check it out. Matt, Katie, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Yes. Thanks for having us out. Thank Man, you. thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. Got a little bonus content. So the name Griffey Guy, Griffey Gal. How close were you guys of going another direction? Like Drew McIntyre guy, Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre gal. It would be just Drew McIntyre gal. Yeah. I mean, but he had to fight me and say, "Oh, Griffey's better." Yeah. But go Drew McIntyre. <laughs> yes. We'll see you in a couple of weeks at Little Rock. So Matt, Matt, how long was <laughs> the negotiation? Did you have to really, really get hard with you? She let me have the Griffey guy, which is good yeah. thing, because Mama, Mama reigns the kingdom <laughs> here. So. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I kept hearing that. People would come up to him when we first met and say, oh, are you the guy with the Griffies? Yeah. And so over time, I kept hearing that and I thought, he's the Griffy guy. And I started yeah. looking on social media and nobody had the name. And I was like, we need to get you linked up with that name. Yeah. And that's kind of how it started. And, it and then it became, well, you need to be Griffy gal. And yeah. that's how it became to be. And GG2, it's Griffy guy, yeah. Griffy gal. It, from the top of my heart, thanks for watching.